Welcome to pick a card. Okay. If you've got a situation in your life that you'd like a little bit of guidance with, then think about it now. Keep it in mind and let's ask the angels for some guidance, some help at this time. Okay, so keep hold of that situation in your mind and then pick a number, one, two or three. As you can hear, I'm shuffling. As soon as you've got your number, stick with it. And if you've chosen option one, send your energy to me now. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, I've got your card. You can stop sending energy to me. And option two, people, send the energy now, please. It's amazing. I can feel the difference in energy. It's lovely. Oh, you've got a jumper. We'll have that. Okay, let's take a card. Oh, option two, people. Okay, I'm also selecting the energy on the bottom of the deck as well. Adds a bit of depth to the reading. Okay, option two people, please stop. And option three people, send energy now, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay, everybody can stop sending energy now. That's great. Thank you. I've got all the cards I need. So option one, people then. The card I chose for you is the King of Wands and the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. So let's look at the King of Wands. He is gorgeous. Look at him. And the King of Wands is the ultimate aspect of this suit in the deck. So the Wands is all about passion and um, energy and motivation and work and it can also be passion in a relationship as well. It's not just like your mojo. Um, and, but what he's doing is he's coming. You can see the lion. I'm using the light seer's tarot. You can see the lion in the background and he does come at you like a lion. So whatever your situation is, you have to be proactive. You have to get on with it. You have to take on the energy of the king. It's your kingdom. Let's sort it out. You know, there's the fire burning at the end of the wand as well. And so there's nothing stopping you. When I look at the energy on the bottom of the deck, we've got the page of swords. And this is what I think is stopping you because this is all about communication or the lack of it. Or maybe the beginnings of it because the page is usually a messenger. And the swords is all about communication. Now, when it's the page of swords, it's usually communication that's not really getting going so if it was a text message it would just say hi you know and so what do you reply to that hi it's hard going yeah sometimes it's somebody doesn't actually know what to say they can see what they want but they're not speaking about it so if we put these two energies together we can see that you've got all the fire you've got the motivation you've got the determination but you're not communicating that very well so if there's any problems speak to somebody about it you know if you can see with this energy at the here the teetering on this uh, tightrope and that's how you're feeling and we're not to feel like that not when you're really that energy there so let's get rid of the fears let's get proactive especially with communications and if there's been something that you've been looking at on the internet take the next step because that can be somebody who's like watching you on the internet or you're spying something on the internet yeah or on social media so i hope that helps let's move on to option two people the card that jumped out is the ace of the eight of swords and we've spoken about this card already tonight if you can see in this image this uh, lady in the picture she's really stuck in her head you can see she's looking and her eyes are open, but when you see her reflection, her eyes are uh, covered. She can't actually see the wood for the trees. And this is usually um, where you've allowed your mind chatter to make you a little bit of a prisoner, but it's never real. You can break out of this. This is just negative thinking. So that's the card that jumped out. Now, let me just think, which way around was this? So the, the card I chose for you is the Knight of Pentacles. And I think this is usually 
um, no, I actually know that this is usually an offer that's been a long time coming. Now, when this offer comes, it's brilliant. It's actually the best night in the deck. Now, you wait for him for ages. The nights are quite dynamic and fast moving, usually. This Knight of Pentacles never is. But when he comes, what he offers is perfect. It's got longevity. It's just great. And so I think that you have got stuck in your head because you're waiting. You're waiting for this outcome. Or you're thinking that the um, result is not going to be all that you want it to be. And I just need you to realise because the energy on the bottom of the deck is one of divine timing. So you can't pull this to you so quickly. Let's trust here. Get out of your head for a start because that's just going to create, being a master creator, master manifester, that's just going to create aggro between now and the result. You can see the three of wands energy. You can see she's waiting for her ships to come in. And that's all you've got to do. So between now and the result of your situation, why don't you have some fun? That's not fun. The Eight of Swords is not fun. Why don't you plan some things, maybe coffees with friends or a date or something, just to take your mind off it? Because when this comes in, when this ship comes in, when this offer is there, whatever your situation is, yeah, it's going to be perfect and you'll be very happy. So don't waste time now creating rubbish because you're mithering and it's just not, it's not, it's pointless. That's what it is. It's not worth it. So I hope that helped. Option two people, option three people. Wow. So we've got the four of pentacles. This is the card I chose for you. And you can see she's holding on to a purse. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that she's holding on to money. It can be, the pentacles can be money, but it can also be things that you've achieved. So say you've, um, written something or you've created something that could be your intellectual license you know so just think of the bigger picture think of your situation where are you holding on to something where because it's usually fear-based this card she's holding on to something because she's frightened about something so what can we put into this what will help your situation um become easier for you well love i'd love to anything that's fear-based and it's going to get better now you can see she's actually looking at the village so she's feeling quite on her own with this and i actually think if you let go of the reins a little bit the angels can get in they always say to me don't hold on to the reins too tightly you know as if you're on a stagecoach yeah or if you're on a horse because they can't help you you're controlling things too much and she can be blamed for that she can be trying to control the situation through fear of losing what she's got so don't do that loosen up let go a little bit with your situation and let the angels help you or let other people help you the people from the village <laughs> randomers but the energy on the bottom of the deck is the two of swords and the reason why i've gone on and on and on about fear is because did you hear that car backfiring then I don't know if you heard that, but I heard a car backfiring. And so I don't want you to be worried that something's going to backfire. Because even when the car backfires, it's still motoring. Yeah, you might need something looking at. But I don't want you worrying because you're just going to bring it in. Now, the two of swords can also be a case of, I don't know what to do because I can't see. But that's only because you're stuck in your head. Can you see the crows? These signify um, messages, crazy thoughts. And so we need to shake them off. We need to take off the blindfold and we need to see things as they are. These two cards together really are full of fear. So again, let's put a lot of love in there, a lot of trust, knowing that the universe has got your back. Nothing can backfire unless you've manifested it. So don't allow that to happen. I want you to really trust yourself and get out of this because both cards are not moving, by the way. Let's just add that to this. She stood still because she's holding on too tightly. And she is in a stalemate situation. So even if there is somebody else involved, which I can't see anybody in these images, but if there is somebody else involved, it would still be a stalemate or a row brewing. So we don't want that either. Let's just inject everything we love and trust 
ask the angels for some more help and this situation will just unravel can you see how all we need to do is have love and all of that cotton or whatever it is that the crows are wrapping around her will just unravel and everything will work out really well because there's still pentacles she's still got it you're not losing anything it will only get better Wow, I feel like I was talking in a riddle for option three people. I do hope that helped. Um, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know how we got on. Thank you for joining me. See you again next time.